focus on your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the sensation of breath, the breath in the body. And let your attention settle there. Keep careful watch on your mind, because your mind is what's making the choices right now. And right now is the, word to, is the place to watch it, where it's making those choices. You want to make sure those choices get made well, because they are your responsibility. There are a lot of things in the world that you're not responsible for, but you are responsible for the choices you make right now. And that all too often, we're not here. We're not watching them. We're off someplace else. Today is the birthday of John Sawat. He was the founder of our temple. If he were alive, he'd be 99 years old today. And one of the Dharma points that he would repeat several times was that you notice that the Buddha says, form, feeling, perceptions, fabrications, consciousness, these are not self. But then he says, we're the owner of our actions. He says that's an important distinction to make. There are a lot of things in the world we should learn to let go of. But there are things we have to be responsible for. The actions that we do right now, those are things we're spo responsible for. As for other things that are coming in from past karma, we have to learn how to deal with them skillfully. Try not to hang on to them too much, realizing that they come and they're going to go. And you might say, well, your actions come and they go, but they leave a long-term residue, a long-term consequence. So you want to be careful about what they do what that consequence is going to be. This is why we look at the mind, why we train the mind here in the present moment. We bring the mind into the present moment, not because it's a wonderful place to be, or because there's anything unconditioned about the present. The present is very much conditioned. The reason we come here is because there's work to be done here, and this is the place to do it. Our minds still have greed, anger, and delusion. And if we carry these things around with us, we're going to suffer. But if we learn how to get rid of some of the greed, some of the aversion, some of the delusion, then we're going to be a lot better off, and the people around us will be better off as well. And where you're going to do that, you do that right here. And when are you going to do that? We've got to do it right now, because you don't know how much more time you've got. When the Buddha talks about focusing on the present moment, he does it in the context, one, of karma, and two, of the fact that death could come at any time. And there's work they've got to do so that your death goes well and your life up until then goes well. So right here, right now, this is where we focus on the things that we own, i.e. our actions, our choices. So make sure that you own them. Don't push them off on some underling in the bureaucracy while you go running off and doing something else. You've got to stay right here and make sure that the bureaucracy is making the right choices, because you're the one in charge. And ultimately, you'll be the one held responsible. So own your actions by doing them well.